Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be taste testing some things from Australia. Allen's Pineapples. Allen's is a really super popular sweets candy company here in Australia. It's probably the most popular one in Australia. So I don't know if pineapples are made all around the world. They always put these super fun colourful designs on the front of the Allen's packages. And these have no artificial colours, which is great. What's interesting is it actually has instructions here on how to eat these pineapples. I have never read that before in my life. Squish each soft pineapple flavour jelly between your fingers, stretch it, bite the top off, or just enjoy it in one bite. It's telling me how to eat. I know how to do that. Oh! You get a big whiff of pineapple as soon as you open this packet up. So this is what they look like. As you can see, it actually looks like a little cute pineapple. I'm going to try to eat it the way they suggested it, by pulling the top off and stretching it out, because I've never done that before. And... I'm probably never going to do that again. Mmm! You know what? By whipping that in half, it's made me realise that I like the top of the pineapple better than the bottom part because that's more of a clear jelly and that's like a milky jelly. It has got quite a strong pineapple flavour to this jelly gummy candy here. It's very cute and the detail on it is quite clever. They've never really been a favourite of mine. I used to hate them when I was a kid but actually now I don't mind them, probably because it's been years since I've had them. Alan's Redskins. Now I used to hate these when I was a kid as well but I'm revisiting them today. Maybe I'll like them. When I was younger, they used to have a picture of an Indian on it. I'm glad they've actually changed that design on it because no one, I don't want to see that. I don't really like the name of these. I think they could come up with something better than, than red skins. I just don't like it. So you twist them open like this. I used to struggle to get them actually out of the wrapping. Let's see if that's going to happen today. No, that comes out easily. So this is what it looks like. I don't even know what flavor these are supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be raspberry flavored. You get quite a lot of them in the packet, as you can see. Alan's red skins are intensely raspberry flavoured and super chewy. Oh, that's why I didn't like them. Stretch one, pull one, then chew, chew, chew. Instructions on how to eat. Again, we don't know how to eat here in Australia. So I'm going to just try and pull this. See, look, it's so tough. That is hard. That's going to rip a tooth out, isn't it? We can't eat it in one go. This is too hard. See, I'm having to put a lot of work in and I just can't be bothered to do that with a candy. The flavour of it is quite nice, it's like a milky raspberry flavour. But is it worth the effort? No. No, it's not. Yeah, and they're right about the chew, chew, chew. You just chew for ages. No, 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 not worth the effort. If you love chewy candy, then you're probably going to love these. And I know that these are a lot of people's favourites, but not mine. Smith's Cheese and Onion Chips. I don't usually get the cheese and onion flavoured ones. And these are probably the, one of the most popular brands here in Australia, Smith's Chips. So this is what they look like. They're just your basic crinkle cut chip. Mmm, oh, oh. They're quite strong flavoured, nice and salty. Mmm, oh, yeah, actually I like these. Why don't, why don't they get these usually? I don't know. Oh yeah. They got that onion aftertaste, which is a little bit too strong for me. But they're still nice and crispy and salty. They're quite cheesy, but I'd probably like them to be more cheesy than oniony. Cheesy and oniony, really. What do you think? Do they look good? Red Rock Deli Chips. And I've never seen these ones before. They're sweet potato crisps. These are roast garlic, rosemary and thyme. It also says parsley, lemon juice and black pepper. Well, this is starting to sound like a gourmet dish. That's what that means. Sorry. <laughs> Going. So I'm assuming that these are probably better for you because they're sweet potatoes. So have a look. They feel quite nice and light. Oh my goodness, that's like a, a rogue one. We'll avoid that. Oh no, they all pretty much do look like that. Let me get some out to show you. See? Ooh, see ya. I hope these are going to be good because this could be a good alternative for me. know if I like them. When I have savoury snacks I want them to be more savoury and because this is sweet, well because it's sweet potato it's sweet, surprise surprise. It does have a nice balance of all the different flavours in there though. You can taste the garlic, it isn't too strong in there and I can taste the rosemary. It's got a bit of salt on it. 
No, actually, no, I think I'm getting used to them now. I don't mind them. See, yeah, that's why you go back for more. Just to be sure to see if you like something or not. Actually, I don't mind them now. I quite like them. Darylee peanut chocolate clusters. Now, I believe that some Darylee products are actually available overseas. Not all of them, but some. Let me know if you live overseas and you've actually tried some Darylee products before. What have you tried and did you like it? Let's have a look at these. I've actually never tried the peanut clusters before. Oh, have a look at it. Oh, that actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? So they're just lumps, of course. It's not going to look very attractive. Things with peanuts in it, you can really make it look attractive. Mm -hmm. They are quite nice. They're not over-the-top exciting for me because it is basically just peanuts and chocolate. The chocolate is nice and smooth and sweet. The peanuts are very plain. In some ways, I think it would be nice if they put salted peanuts in there just to give it that little bit more... I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Give me a word. <laughs> Just take it to that next level, you know? That next level of, ooh, gourmet. Now, having said that, they are delicious. Would I get them again? Yes, I would, if they were on sale. You know how you've got things that you start to have that again if it's on sale? Time for a beverage break, and today I have a Kirk's drink, and I've never seen this one before either. It's Kirk's Surprises Summer Sorbet. Isn't the English language just too weird? Because that's sorbet, right? But it looks like sorbet. Why do we say sorbet? Words are just too strange. They do make it look nice though. Look at the cover of that. Doesn't that look tempting? And it has a little note here that says, it took a really hot Aussie day and broken refrigerator to inspire this special soft drink. I could only get this in a big bottle, so let's hope it's good. I do have a glass. I didn't want to drink it out of the bottle. Just gonna put the lid back on to keep the sparkly in it. Cheers. quite nice and refreshing. It does taste like sorbet. It's mango flavoured and um, there's something else in there too but I can definitely taste mango predominantly in it. Yum! Peach and mango. That was the other fruit I was looking for. I just couldn't think of the name. Mm. Peach and mango soda. Yum! I hope this isn't like a limited edition thing but I bet it is. That's a really nice soda. Kind of reminds me of the Stewart soda that you get in America. Alan's Red Frogs. I don't usually get the Red Frogs. Because it's just too many red gummy candies. I like the variety of the flavours. But if you love red jelly candy, look at these little frogs. How cute are they? I think they used to be bigger when I was smaller. No, it's not because I was smaller and they were... Anyway, when I was a kid, they used to... Oh, sugar. Everything's shrinking. Even me. People shrink when you get older too, you know. They say that when you get older that your nose, your ears and your feet get bigger. And you shrink. <laughs> Things to look forward to. They're quite flavoursome, chewy, but not too chewy that you can easily eat it. It's a nice gummy candy. I'm not quite sure what the flavour of the frogs is. It has a slight raspberry flavour to it, but I think there's a little bit of strawberry in there. Well, look, it's red, so I just don't know. Who knew frogs tasted like raspberry? We'll all be going into ponds and eating them now. So, oh, yes, yeah, it's their raspberry flavour. Well, yay me, I got it right for a change. Does it have instructions on the back here? Twist one, stretch one, flatten one out before enjoying it. Okay, let's stretch it. Okay, that lets you know how stretchy it is though. Flatten it, let's try that. Oh, I've never done this before, why not? And now it's looking like the size it used to be when I was a kid. So if you love red gummy candy, you would love these frogs. Actually, they're called frogs alive. I don't know why they call them frogs alive though, because they are. Well, they're all dead, aren't they? Sorry. Morbid. Tim Tams Chocolate Holics. I have not tried these Tim Tams before. Tim Tams come in all kinds of flavors. I have not tried these ones before. They're Tim Tam Chocolate Holics, and they're called Velvet Mud Slide. The cover of this looks really appealing to me. I got this because, see that milky drink? That's why I got it, because I like the look of that. This is more the gourmet Tim Tam range. So it comes in little individual packs like this, and there are 11 in here. Usually with Tim Tams, I just like the normal ones because I'm boring. It's a little two pack of cookies, biscuits. Oh, cute. Whoa. Yum. So inside it looks like 
like a normal Tim Tam, it's got that thick layer of chocolate on the outside and it's got a chocolate cookie and also a chocolate cream inside. But it's richer than the normal Tim Tams. It's like it's taken it up to that next level and they're really, really rich and tasty and chocolatey. So if you love chocolate, Oh my gosh. Oh, they are good. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this Australian taste test and let me know in the comments below if you want to see me do some more Australian treats and snacks and I'll have a look out for some more stuff because I just don't think to do a taste test from my own country. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.